Hello guys, this is Vitara Express and Sam, welcome back to another, um, yeah, Doom video everyone, welcome back, it's Doom, um, yes, it is, uh, what day is it, I don't even know, uh, yeah, uh, Boxing Day, I think it's Boxing Day, uh, and yeah, uh, welcome back to, uh, yeah, as you guys know, every Boxing Day I play a bit of Doom, uh, I play Doom, and then Doom Eternal, uh, look at this, it's already loaded up, <laughs> I've been playing it. No, I haven't actually been playing it, I haven't even touched it. But no, I have actually touched it, because I made a new save the other day. Um, yeah, on the 12th, no, the 13th, because, I don't know, I wanted to kind of, like, upload something to YouTube. I only uploaded the music, so I think I can probably get rid of that, because I don't even need it. So, uh, yeah, I hope I haven't got rid of my, uh, yeah, here we are. I've got my 2018 save, and I've got my, uh, 2019 save. I'm just going to turn up the music, because, um, no... Oh, too quiet. There we go. I think that's okay. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why it's too quiet. All the other games are really loud. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Uh, sorry that I'm late. Sorry that uh, I haven't even done Survival on Christmas. Uh, yeah, the idea... Uh, let's just jump into a uh, save before I start rambling on. But, um, I know, what, what, shave, what shave should we do? What save should we do? Or level? Um, I think I might do... And it's up to you guys, um, <laughs> you know, it's uh, the stream I'm providing, so, yeah, I know most years I normally do, um, was it uh, Argent D Dinor, not Argent Dinner, Argent Dinor, uh, I could do Vega, I could do the Necropolis, I think I might just do this because we do it every year, so, you know, stick to familiarity. We gaming teams, good in gaming here, saying hope you had a good Christmas, yeah, I did have a good Christmas. See, the thing is, um, I'm absolutely buggered at the moment because um, I've just exported the um, Madrid video this morning um, and yeah um, it's now exported or exported uh, I think at two o'clock this afternoon so it took about yeah six hours for Final Cut just to export it and all that stuff because I already rendered it so I could edit all the GoPro stuff because I render and then um, yeah um, so the playback smooth um, yeah, I hope it's okay. I, I, it's not out on YouTube yet. I'm going to be premiering. Um, oh, this is going to be dead loud. Um, hang on. I'm going to be premiering the um, Madrid part two um, tomorrow night. See, yes, so loud. What the game music on the menu is really quiet. This is going to be dead loud. Yeah, it's going to be way too loud. Hang on. Sorry, I know I'm pissing round. Is that all right? Too loud still. <laughs> Don't know why I can't fix things. Just assume it'll be alright on the volume it's set at. That should be okay. <laughs> it's Doom. Why can't we have it loud? I don't know. What weird. Yeah, it's so, God, it's so weird going to this game and, you know, playing Doom. Well, I haven't played Doom Eternal for ages, but, you know, uh, because of all the Sonic stuff. But, yeah. Um, yeah, hope you all had a good Christmas. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit ooh, everywhere. I'm, I'm not arsehole, I promise. I'm, I've only had a. Uh, <laughs> it says Stella. It's not, it's uh, that Cornish stuff I always talk about <laughs> from IPA. From IPA? From, uh, well, yeah, it's an IPA, but it's uh, from Marks and Spencers. Um, <laughs> am I absolutely arsehole? No. Um, but yeah, I feel like that. I don't know why. Anyway, that's one little sip. <laughs> God, I only started. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, we'll come back to Doom. Yeah, every, um, basically, let me just make some clarification. Um, it's so weird seeing Kako Demons about. The eye. Um, yeah, basically, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I actually forgot what I was going to say. Um, yeah, most uh, boxing days, um, I play Doom. I don't know why, I just did it in 2019 because, I don't know, I thought it would be fun. Um, I think years before 2019, obviously not 2018 or 2017 because I wasn't even here, but you know, like 2016 and 2015 and all that. I think I just played like um, Minecraft or played one of the, because uh, you never know, Minecraft. Updates, yeah, growing green as well. Um, yeah, the Minecraft updates always used to um, come out around Christmas. I remember, like the TU such and such, and this, that, and the other. So, um, yeah, I used to play that. Uh, but because of Doom, <laughs> because of Doom, um, I love it. Uh, but also, yeah, I play it as just like a tradition on uh, Boxing Day. So I play Doom. I think I do half an hour of Doom 2016, and then like an hour of. Uh, or the, the new game, Doom Eternal. <laughs> so yeah, um, should be pretty cool. Plenty of software working on like um, Project 2022 or whatever that is. So I don't know if that'll be a Doom game. I'm assuming not because I don't see how they could make another one after Doom. Or maybe might. I don't know. <laughs> Keep our hopes up for Ancient Gods Part Three. 
Yay! Yeah, that'd be interesting, because as you all know, I played uh, Ancient Gods. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Because this time last year, it ended my Doom Eternal Let's Play. Um, I still had all the DLC, because he actually had DLC for the campaign, and as soon as I heard that, I was playing Rage 2. Um, so I thought, oh, end Rage 2. <laughs> I won't play Rage 2 for a long time. I've still got another DLC to do or whatever, but that's Rage 2, it can wait. Um, and yeah, um, I'll, I'll do the uh, Doom Eternal Ancient Gods Part 1 and ended Part 2, and then, yeah, it uh, worked pretty well, but yeah, basically, uh, yeah, this Christmas I've been really, really busy because the Madrid Part 2 video, I thought, honestly, I was expecting, oh yeah, Part 1, you know, when I flew on the A380, yeah, no, about a month ago, exactly a month ago, I was probably, I was probably asleep, <laughs> I was, um, yeah, I can't believe it, I flew on the A380 about a month ago. Yeah, it was exactly a month ago, the 26th, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, because I remember saying in the gaming video, oh, yeah, it's in about a month, it's Christmas, and bloody hell, it's right on our doorstep, isn't it? Well, not right on our doorstep, it's right down the road, because <laughs> it's walking away from the doorstep, because it's already visited us, and all its, uh, yeah, crazy plans and stuff like that. Yeah, cases going crazy. I don't think cases are going crazy. I, I reckon this is just a perception they're saying. I, I sound like a right conspiracy theorist. C conspiracy theorists. A conspiracy theorist. I'm not. I'll explain it in in a little while. But I, I reckon Boris is, um, you know, using like Omicron as like um, to to take away focus uh, from him. I, I reckon. I reckon he's using Omicron to. Uh, you know, because of all his like little house parties and his cheese and wine parties. Yeah, I reckon he's using Omicron as like um. I know he's probably thinking, oh, there couldn't have been any better time. So I'm use it. I'll use it as a um a distraction tool, so people aren't talking about me with me little parties. Instead, they're worrying. Welcome to the world of politics. My dad says, but I don't know. It's uh, he's still a liar, isn't he? <laughs> After all that effort, he's still a liar. Um, I'm sorry, he, he can't be that smart because, like, he says he does and then he doesn't want to be Prime Minister, he's ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> he's ridiculous. <laughs> That's Boris. <laughs> oh my god. When did he even become Prime Minister? What, in 2018? I don't know. I try not to follow it. I try not to, but it's on my YouTube homepage for news, so you can't escape it. Oh shit. Oh yeah, which one is the, uh... Grenade. I've actually forgotten. Oh, I'm gonna be here for a long time. You gonna kill Sp Spastic Mastermind, Spider Mastermind? Yeah, I'm probably gonna kill him. Hang on, I don't even know if I will. Cause I know this level's massive, so uh, yeah, it's the last level in the game, and I've got it on a, a reasonable difficulty. Um, but yeah, you all had a good Christmas. Sorry, um, I, I have. Yeah, I've had a great Christmas. It's been the easiest Christmas I've ever had to ha have an experience because I haven't even had to edit Survival Island. Island. Um, what? <laughs> Hit a rock. Um, Survival Island Christmas special. Um, basically because, uh, yeah, I was at the airport. Uh, and normally I edit the Survival Island uh, Christmas special um, on, you know, um, Christmas Eve. And because I was at the airport, you know, the Manchester uh, airport visitor park on, um, yeah, the 24th. Uh, yeah, literally, I didn't have time. L literally, I didn't have time. I went home and I went to bed and then I woke up um, to, yeah, <laughs> just see how the, uh, I don't know, how the stream did and also the, uh, the video I premiered, the, uh, the whatever, 2021 month. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. It took about a week to edit, I mean. I was sick and tired of editing it in the end, but I just thought, well, I've got to, got to make it good because people are going to see it and people are going to, you know, uh, establish it as this year. And you know, if I've got crap footage going along with the music, and the music was all right as well, it wasn't anything too crazy. But I just thought, oh yeah, it's all right. Um, yeah, I just thought, yeah, I'll, I'll add that because you know it works. And um. I know helpers on the way. What, 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 what am I even trying to say? Like, like I'm, I'm struggling or something, or I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know. 
He's saying help is on the way, suggests that. Oh god, he, he, he's struggling? How has it been a good year if he's struggling? <laughs> he's asking for help. <laughs> he's asking for help. <laughs> he's secretly crying for help. Yeah. What do we call it? Um, sublim Sublimable messaging? No, no, that's... No, sublimable messaging is something to do in this game. Isn't it? Devils and demons, I don't know. Would I get a good headshot then? Did they kill that guy? Albatross? No. Are you talking about Albatross? You know the airplane, the Albatross? Yo, I actually got a, um, Top Trump's airplanes, I don't know, actually, that's probably the best present I, I, I've actually had this year. I know, how simple is that? My best present was Top Trump's planes, and we just played them for about two hours at the table last night after our dinner. It was quite fun. <laughs> My sister was enjoying it and everything. And yeah, I mean, yeah, they had the, um... Columbia Space Shuttle, which I, I don't know why they've got, it says planes, not rockets. Yeah, Columbia Space Shuttle, it's, um, just wipes the arse off everything. And also Concorde does and the, um, what was it, the Arion 2021 hasn't even been built. So, it's got, you can tell it's recent as well because it's got, um, like the Lufthansa new livery all over it. Hmm. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> And some of my favourite drinks is Marks and Spencer's whatever thingy. And yeah, do not keep it warm. Keep it, yeah, serve it chilled because it literally tastes like you're drinking iron. I'm not joking. It's all like metallic. Yeah, not nice when it's warm. I think it's because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. That's got iron in it though, hasn't it? I know lemonade has iron in it. Because uh, it says it on the back, doesn't it? Um, and stuff like that. It says it on the back and all that, doesn't it? Oh, not that intelligent. Can't even read. What, what, it doesn't say that on the back, does it? <laughs> it's got meta uh, metal in it and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't if it said that on the back. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, come on. Destroy. I know I did this last year. I played Doom uh, Eternal as well inside of it, so this year I'll be playing, um, I might play a level from like the Ancient Gods or something, um, since we did do that this year. Come on, there you go. <laughs> How fun is that? Look at him sliding everywhere. You bloody fool. Come on, Pinky. Oh, I'm using like a, <laughs> you know, the meat hook and all that, yeah, and I, I keep clicking B to dash away. You're fast enough. Plus the levels are smaller. So, like Doom 2016, uh, sorry, Doom Eternal is uh, far. Oh, here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah. Go on, Mick Gordon, on your eight string bass. Eight string bass! You might as well play a bass if it's an eight string electric guitar. <laughs> oh. Literally, I think a bass can probably do the job of an eight string, I don't know. Um. And again, there's me going on about guitars again. <laughs> you freak. Oh! What then? Oh, he's dead. Is he? No. No, he won't be dead if he's flying. <laughs> oh, you got smacked in the face then. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. I, because I went to the airport, I literally had no time to edit the uh, Survival Island Christmas special. So, what I'm going to be doing is like a, um, a video of like like a festive. So I'm not going to call it Survival Island Christmas. I never call it that anyway, but... You know, it's the Christmas special. It, it's like the, um... The, med the medal for, uh... Christmas that year. Like, oh yeah, here you go. You can now enjoy your Christmas. <laughs> you edited Survival Island. It's like Halloween as well. Like, the Halloween video comes out on, like, the 2nd of November. <laughs> I've ruined my Halloween by just worrying about it. So I didn't have to worry about it in 2018 because I didn't have any... I believe Svavland Halloween to edit. Uh, but no, Christmas Svavland um, is different because I, I at least um, put a quarter of my effort that I would have in my Halloween special, <laughs> in my Christmas special. So yeah, but this year, no, I I, I will make one, but it's going to be more like around the New Year and stuff, and it's more like a festive one. So I'm not going to be saying Merry Christmas because <laughs> Christmas has already been. But, um, well, I could just say it's super delayed. But what would that. 
How would that win? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to have it like as like, a festive kind of uh, thing, and I might go into the, you know, the um, mashup pack Christmas world that 4J made ages ago. I think he ma they made it in 2014, that world. I thought they may have made it after the, um, because I never made the, um, the Halloween mashup pack world in Minecraft in 2015. And, uh, they made the, uh, because they made the Mass Effect one, that was the first mashup pack, and then every single mashup pack world from that Mass Effect one was lit literally almost like a, uh, ooh, let's see if you can make it even more crazier. <laughs> Maybe we should have Doom mashup pack, I don't know. He had a Halo one, he didn't have a Call of Duty one, did he? <laughs> um, and yeah. It's kind of cool, they used to make mashup packs for Minecraft and now they don't anymore because, I don't know, no one's playing on that version and if Mojang are doing it, they can just say, oh, the, the community, the MC community can come up with it and the problem with the Minecraft community is, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a business, isn't it, now? Oh, hello, Kako. I just think the enemies in this game look far more scarier than they do in Doom. Eternal, I don't know, in Doom Eternal, they just kind of feel quite functional. I know that sounds really bad, but they do. In this game, they just feel like a little bit more, not there in the world, but more like scary. More like, you know, they're hanging on the walls or throwing things. And the way they presented it in the, you know, E3 2015, literally, they made the game look fucking terrifying. I'm not joking. They made it look like, a, like some sort of horror shooter. And I wouldn't mind it being like that. Because it kind of looked a bit more like Doom, Doom 3 or whatever. I never played it, but I know a lot of people say, "Oh, that's not Doom. That's not Doom." Um, you know, Doom is all about fast moving, not like, you know, you, you go back to 2015, the Doom 2016 showcase. I know that's quite confusing, but you know, we've got the guys from Mid showing it off, and and literally we've got like Snap Map. We've got it all. No one used Snap Map, um, but you know, it's like a big tomato, big tomato, <laughs> wasting away. <laughs> Looks nothing like a tomato, a tomato. Looks nothing like a tomato. Not a tomato, a tomato. Yeah, a tomato. Oh, come on, mate. But yeah, literally, we made the game. You you watch back E3 2015, and they literally made this game look. I don't know. Yeah, like a like a horror shooter, literally. Um, like an FPS horror. Um, and I feel like this game still has a little bit more of that, like that sort of elements. There's animal elements with, you know, these kind of like smaller sections and caca demons kind of popping out and scaring you. You know, they kind of have that. A little bit more there. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, Doom Eternal kind of feels a lot more. Um, oh god, um, <laughs> yeah, um, functional with, it's more about your guns and fast pace and moving from one end of the map to the other and more kind of story related and cutscenes, which I like, like I might as well talk about it while I'm not playing it, but I know in half an hour I'll probably be playing it, <laughs> so I'll be bashing on about this game, because they're two different games, Doom and Doom Eternal. Doom 2016 I'm playing right now, and Doom Eternal is uh, the newer Doom game which uh, we definitely had to make, didn't they? Definitely had to make. So That sounds like sarcastic, yeah, no, no, we do, we, we did. Because this game got a lot of praise. Um, I mean, I think the engine, we, the engine makes things look quite play doh we? you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but no, it's... Well, like everything's made out of like, um, yeah, Play-Doh, or potatoes, I don't know. Uh, but no, still good. Like potato graphics. Like your computer literally can't run it, but I'm on the Xbox, so it's alright. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, it's 60 FPS. That's not 4K. Oh, bugger, 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 in a Bloody bugger hole. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, um, <laughs> we get into so true. Yeah, if you know what I'm saying, it, 
Yeah, Doom, Doom Eternal feels more like it's based around the components of fighting and whereas the enemies can just feel like they're there. Like once we've had, we've had like a little introduction, like, I don't know, growing lean, I don't know, smashing someone's head into a wall, you know what I mean? I bang my head against the wall. <laughs> Just happens to be Sia. <laughs> um, yeah, Graham Glynn's a bad girl. Oh no, yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting how the two, two of these games are kind of different. Hmm. Not massively different. One's bigger than the other. I mean, this one's the uh, smaller game. Alright, mate. I can't throw grenades in the mouth, so I'm, I'm using Doom Eternal mechanics. But they're definitely more creative in Doom Eternal on how you can kill them and... Yeah, definitely. Shoot. Yeah, there you go. It's over, mate. <laughs> Easy. So I don't think I'll complete this level because it has a massive boss at the end, it's a big spider. Big spider mastermind, isn't it? Let's look at this level for a minute. Look at it. Terrifying. Terrifying. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, some Chinese. <laughs> They've just told me to kill him for sneezing. Kill him, he sneezed in a demonic. On demonic presence. He's, he's just sneezed on demonic soil. Those these guys are farting away, jumping around everywhere. Come on, Grow and Gloom, what, what are you going to do? Bring your worst. Well, he helps on the way. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, just shut off her head. Poor Gloom. Oh, that 30 people are watching. Oh, well. My streams are doing well as well. Yeah, sorry, uh, thanks for the support as well on the uh, stream at Manchester the other day. Um, okay, I can't believe that about 300 people. Oh no, 300 people are watching and, you know, quite uh, quite the thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, 300 people are watching and it's had about 7,000 views. Well, that's pretty good, I'm doing well for myself. Um, <laughs> I think, anyway. <laughs> Oh my god, my audio is massive for him sneezing. <laughs> Jesus. I thought something had gone on. Yeah, it's just Adobe Audition. My backup. I don't even have to look on it. It's so reliable most of the time. I don't even have to. Well, there's me promoting Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition. <laughs> Adobe Audition. It's an addition to Adobe Audition. <laughs> the additional Adobe Audition. <laughs> Right, here we go. I'm starting to brighten up a little bit now. Brighten up a little bit. Like I was under the weather. I wasn't under the weather. I was just uh, started the video and I felt a little bit, I don't know, shagged. I don't feel shagged now. <laughs> it's always like that, isn't it? Half an hour into the video, I'm actually be I'm a little bit... I mean, it does It does take me a while just to... <laughs> it takes me a while just to... Uh, get going, which is bad because once this is on YouTube, I know it's different when it's a stream, but once this is on YouTube, people will see the first seven minutes of the video. Not even that, probably seven seconds. Um, and they'll probably click off or drop like flies, so because they think, oh god, he's moody and he's just said he's absolutely arseholed. <laughs> or maybe they'll go, ooh, this might be interesting. <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm just... I mean, I haven't even had a drink the whole of this Christmas. I have not drank at all. Last night I didn't have one drink. I had a Coke. Oh no, sorry, yeah, in the day I had a Prosecco, but you do on Christmas Day, don't you? An orange. Yeah, and a few Cokes and all that. And wrecking me teeth on lollipops. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love this. <laughs> you do that badass... This solo going on in the background, racking me teeth on a coke and lollipops. Ridiculous! Oh god! 
I think I might deliberately crank up the volume when I'm <laughs> moaning on. <laughs> uh, come on, dentist. Oh, God. There's me, Dad. Eating too many lollipops. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, does it? Honestly, same with the streams on YouTube. It, it takes me about at least a good um, half an hour just to start, you know, just to get going and stuff. Well, I'm talking to my dad in the car, so I'm, uh, no, I don't really talk um, to myself in my bedroom. Uh, who does? <laughs> Kill him. Hi, guys. Oh, God. Alright, let's go. Oh, he's like, who did that? <laughs> it's a guy with the lollipops. <laughs> Go and glean, do you want a lollipop? Come on, lover. Oh, she kicked, she's pussy kicked. <laughs> See that? Come here. Yeah, she's dead. Well, another thing on the uh, E3, I haven't even been, I haven't watched it for like, years. Yeah, the E3 thing, when, when you kill an enemy in this game, you seem to like, um, can like, um, move around a little bit once they're dead. I know it's horrible, but it seems to like, can like, crawl and stuff, and yeah. When you shot like, the actual torso off the enemy's legs, literally, they're like, walking. <laughs> they're still walking, the legs are still walking. Um, but yeah. I think it's because when, when enemies are killed in this game, it, they can like, just like, their, their carcasses aren't left. Like that. It would be cool if he were. But I think it's to do with frame rate. They have to keep the frame rate. Frame, frame rate at 60. And the only way to um, reduce. Or, oh, sorry. Increase frame rate is to not have. Um, yeah, carnage. Literally. <laughs> as excess. Littered all over the map. So they have. Uh, I think we just have a blood. Instead, and it's disgusting. This is doom, isn't it? Bloody hell! Um, yeah, this is the game. But they wouldn't leave. They don't leave it like that. They don't leave just enemy carcasses lying around. They kind of see, Whee! kind of incinerate. Which is, um, I don't know. Maybe there might be a mod to. I don't know. Clean that. Clean that. Uh, fi I, I wouldn't say fix it because it's not an issue, but. I don't know, it's kind of that thing where you'd, would you rather be... Or maybe on the high-end consoles, or PC, there's actually an option to leave enemy carnage behind, or something like that, I don't know. Do you, do you, do you get where I'm coming from, just to kind of settle in for that? More of a, a doom, kind of, oh yeah, I know exactly who I've killed. I killed him about five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. It's not a nice game, it's not, it's absolutely, if you're looking for story and emotion and a good game to play, it's not that. It's the sort of game you'd, you'd play and have your mates around and it's kind of like a, I used to say when I used to be playing this in the Let's Play about two years ago and uh, this was more with, yeah, this game, 2016 Doom, uh, literally it was like a game of football it was because going on, moaning on, literally flipping people off I don't like, um, and everyone was just finding it so funny in the comments section, and I've remained those, remained those people, those people have remained, I've remained those people, oh yeah, I've kept those people, because they expect it in Survival Island as well, <laughs> um, that was just something about Doom, it's a very fun game. Uh, just, just killing a load of enemies. Uh, I do this every year though, don't I? I think my skills and fighting skills have gotten a lot better. Not after playing Sonic, after. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe maybe the Ancient Gods. I don't know, it's just trained me up a little bit better because I've, I've seen to remember last year I did this and I didn't get any further than where I was before. Literally. You know, the uh, open area with the. Yeah. The lava. Alright, okay. Come on. You can jump, Pinky. Make a leap of faith, Pinky. Oh, it just bounces off. Off of her. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, yeah. Quick, quick, quick. So, when you get glory kills, it increases your health. That's what they're called. Glory kills. Woo. I'm playing it like one of the PC people. Oh, never mind. 
Oh no. Listen to that guitar. <laughs> it's not creative, it's just dire. That's the goal. I don't even know what it is, it's like heavy guts, blood rock, I don't know. Big guts, metal, strings, I don't know, something like that. I can imagine him playing with really bloody fingers and just a candle <laughs> lit in a dark room. That's what I can imagine. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely. There you go. I mean, it's all a drum machine as well, I mean, you can tell, but... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> you think it's over because the music starts uh, to decrease. There you go. Yeah, there's your H string. Yeah, they call them shepherd loops, so if you do a, um, or if you end a level, uh, the music like drops off. I mean, I mean, we call it like a shepherd, a shepherd loop or whatever. Oh yeah, I've got to open it, haven't I? <laughs> So uh, the music is designed to um, cut off um, with a player's action. I know it's quite complicated, but basically every single... I think every single section of the music needs to be able to um, basically transitionate, transitionate, tran tran transition into a, uh, yeah, a shepherd loop. So they, it's not actually a song, it's just like um, a loop of different parts of one big song, it's kind of weird how we do it. It's quite complicated, but it's video game music design, it's a, a different type of um, music based on uh, player action. Everything's based on player action because it's an input, isn't it? Physical and digital input. Hello. Physical and then a digital input. Oh, lovely. Hello. <laughs> no way. See, I reckon with people playing video games, like the fingers are, are like the same for people who play music, because the fingers are constantly going 100 miles an hour. So, you know, I reckon a lot of these games that require, yeah, they, they are people who have, you know, limber fingers. <laughs> Require people to have limber fingers. <laughs> do you have limber fingers before you play? I know it's an 18 and you're 16, Johnny, but do you have limber fingers as <laughs> well? <laughs> but it says. Rated 18, Peggy 18. And, um. Peggy, limber fingers? Oh. Hello. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of this level and then I'll play Doom. Doom Eternal. <laughs> this level's a lot quieter, isn't it? It's harder. Every single bit's harder. Come on, let's keep the berserk up. <laughs> See what I mean, Villa? Shepherd Loop. Go away. Because in Doom Eternal, it kind of goes bink, bonk, when you kill an enemy. <laughs> Whereas in this game, it goes boom, or based on the music. There you go. It's kind of cool. Hello. <laughs> Walking to the shops. <laughs> Some of us are totally oblivious though, aren't they? I know it's AI. It's funny though. Oh, growing green. Hello. How's it doing? That's the That's Mars. Yeah. It's Mars up there, what you can see is the facility of Mars, and it's, a, it's the portal. It's quite clever how they've done it. It's weird that follows the player. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Alright, guys. Alright, get going. I was expecting the ammunition to rain down. Alright, okay, I've got to watch myself. Here we go. You going to when's the next Sonic Colors video? Um, <laughs> I think it might be on Wednesday night because I'm at the airport. Oh yeah, I haven't even told you. Sorry, I'm at Manchester tomorrow. I was there on New Year's Eve. 
sorry, Christmas Eve, but literally, guys, uh, yeah, I am there on New Year's Eve as well. Um, mm. So we've got, um, I went on Christmas Eve, which is why I couldn't do Survival Island. I've got an idea for it, don't I? I mean, I awfully apologise. I'm sorry if I didn't do Friday vlog as well, but I've been editing. Uh, yeah, things, um, a lot of content. Been doing streams, because I'm, I'm literally on Friday. I was so busy. I had the video coming out in the evening, that uh, 2021 montage video. I had uh, the colours video that I didn't hadn't even. Um, Exported on Final Cut yet because I was absolutely up my ass um, doing something else, and I was editing Madrid, and then I had another. I had a stream to do, and that day as well, I had Survival Island to edit and possibly a Friday vlog. So, no way, no way that could have happened. So I had to reduce what I was doing drastically to to get videos out because I knew if I edited about, I had about like what seven videos, six videos on the go at once. Literally, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, either the uh, montage of 2021 video would, would be in the right state and it'd be a terrible video. Or, um, and it still is a terrible video. <laughs> um, now, some people have liked it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's got about 90 views, so I'm assuming a lot of people have seen it and thought, oh, yeah, it's good. Good to be a lot, a lot of the aviation people happy to be part of the channel this year and to have joined and very impressed that they're with me instead of the other streamers and um, yeah I'm glad to um, I'm happy that my channel accommodates them um, yeah anyway I've got people happy me wishing me a happy new Christmas a happy new Christmas <laughs> that's a different one there son. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm waiting for you, Claire Losh. Claire Losh. <laughs> Claire. <laughs> Claire Wash. <laughs> Claire Wash. There's a bloody Tui pilot called Claire Ross. Don't ask. Oh, she's our pilot in 2019. We'll keep calling her Claire Rosh. <laughs> Claire Rosh. <laughs> I think I did, you know. I didn't even know her second name. My dad said, I think it was Claire Ross. No, I said, you know Claire Rosh? And he was like, Rosh. <laughs> Claire Rush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Claire Mosh. <laughs> Claire Mont. Oh, hello. Clean. Yeah, this one's called Glowing gr glowing Green. Growing Glee, not Glowing Green. Yeah, that's what I was meant to say. Glowing glowing Green. You know, like Glowing Green. Because she was Glowing Green. And I said, Growing Glean. I said, She as well. Why is a she? Demonic Monsters are she. Yeah, definitely need Growing Glee merch. I mean, I've made merch. You know, I haven't made Growing Glee merch, have I? Do you think I should? The Growing Glee top? I think a lot of people wouldn't get it. <laughs> a lot of the aviation people would be like, what the f <laughs> Why has he got some weird turd with arms on his teeth? <laughs> I don't know. I think my sister would like it. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I would buy it so hard, I don't know. Because I know some of you have actually ordered my merch. Ordered it, but not received it. <laughs> you ordered it in January and you haven't received it yet. It's not my fault. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, and yeah, people are very happy with it. People have said the quality is very good. And on the calendars as well. Uh, yeah, you can't buy one now because they're out of stock. I've got one left. And um, I don't know, I don't know what to do with it. I might. I'm using it kind of just to. Because um, I had about two left, three left, about a week ago. And I was literally just going to the RVP and using it to show people in the aviation shop my work and the quality of my work and what to expect. And um, they were very happy and uh, impressed with the quality of it. So, you know, that says a good thing about. Because, you know, it's it's not about what it is, it's whether we can sell it. Well, obviously, it, you know, if it, <laughs> that's a load of rubbish. Yeah, it's a box of turds. And they think they can sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Delivered by your favourite streaming channel. TTE. Oh, God. 
But no, um, yeah, you have a lady in the uh, RVP shop who's actually the store manager, so she would know quality because she deals with, you know, a lot of big Gemini jets, models and expensive, you know, die-cast models. She'll know quality off the, you know, like a chip off the old block. Um, but I don't know, uh, yeah, she said my stuff's very good quality, so, that's just good quality, very good quality. So, uh, that's, that, you know, it, I was literally just using the calendars to, um, pr promote my merch, but also to, uh, as in it, you know, to, uh, present, as a, like a presentation, or if you're American, a presentation, of, um, what to expect from my work, and, yeah, they were very happy, so, yeah. But I've got one left now, I don't know what to do with it. Um, <laughs> one calendar left. <laughs> um, reduced price, I don't know, 60% off. <laughs> and still no one would buy it. Yeah, I know uh, someone on Twitch bought one. Um, someone from Twitch bought one. Because I was using PayPal for the uh, thingy, wasn't I, as the payment method. And um, some guy on YouTube, some guy, some guy called Matthew bought one. I appreciate a lot. And, um, yeah, some people, a lot of people in my family bought one, so, you know, because it was my work and, you know, it kind of got out there, didn't it? Like, oh, yeah. Since I said to my dad I'm making calendars, he was like, whoa, really? He was, he was basically being my, my, um, not my marketeer, because I was kind of like my own marketeer, but, you know, he was basically telling me what to, what price I should be selling them at and all that, so. Good dad, isn't he? There's a lot for us. Right, okay. Do do do. Oh, oh. oh, this is getting scary. <laughs> I'm on six percent health and I haven't got any uh, armory. Yeah, I think I'm a shout. Bloody hell, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die hard here. Oh, come on, where's the skill? Where's the skill? What, what's going on with me? Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Thinking harder, not smarter, my friends. Whoa. Alright. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Oh, shit. Let's get rid of a caco. Please. Hi. Goodbye. Ooh. Those things are so strong and powerful. Yes. Nice shot. In Doom, in Doom Eternal, they go back to pinky form when you've killed the spectres. Which is probably the most unfrequent mob you see in Doom. Hmm. Does, that, does that even make sense? The most unfrequent mob you see in Doom. Yeah, I think it does. Hello. I haven't got any uh, modifications on it. No, I haven't. I've got like, no modifications. Brilliant. So, okay, help us. Uh. Oh, no, so, okay, help us. Where did I get that from? <laughs> In that case. Oh, God. <laughs> what did I say once about the hologram? Is that like a rip off of me? <laughs> <laughs> what little rubbish. I just threw him at the wall as well. What's this one as well? Frag grenade. A siphon. Grenade. Oh god, so I'm too busy looking. I've been looking at my bloody Oh, look at that. It's even worse now. It's 3%. <laughs> I suppose we could. Yes. Be a naughty boy. Hit all my friends. Come on, you twat. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, get him, get him. Punch him in the face. Come on. Get a big guy. Big fat guy. Could be a she for all we know. It's Claire, isn't it? It's, it's uh, Claire the dinner lady. <laughs> I heard the name for the uh, teachers. Uh, teachers, uh, or the name of, yeah. Basically, think of that backwards. <laughs> and the name of all the, of all the demons that were my teachers. <laughs> right, go on. Mini me. 
Ultimate alien. That's me. <laughs> he's dead already. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> See, yeah, he's gone. He's a gunner. Jesus. What was his health bar on? And he starts off at one. <laughs> oh god, one percent. Oh shit, sorry. Whoa, 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 holy. Oh, the walls are closing with man cubers. Man pubers. Oh god. Yeah, sorry about this Christmas, and I've kind of let. I don't think I've let people down, but I've let myself down because. I haven't even edited the Survival Line video. I've got the Madrid Part 2 video coming out tomorrow. And I've got a stream tomorrow. Yeah, I'm streaming at Manchester Airport tomorrow. I'm going solo again. You must not be allowed to go back to school. <laughs> you must not be allowed to go back to the RVP. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure plenty of people have their opinion on that. All based on that. Hello. Get here, you freak. Go on, hologram Sam. Hologram Sam. Look, he's useless and he's shooting me. Who <laughs> you shit? What's the point of that? Test of multiplayer or something, aren't they? Fucking terrible. Right, here you are, growing lady. Some of the rockets. Yeah, rocket launcher in this game, you just spam. It's like a bloody rifle. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, bang. Bang. Glean. Come on, glean. Behave yourself. Be a good bean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, growing glean merch. Definitely has to... Uh, Consider that, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Think about myself. Second person? Right, hello. She's back. Want me to make a top of you? And would you wear it? Would you wear yourself? I knew you'd wear yourself out trying to kill me, but. <laughs> hello, Albatross. Get here. Why do I call him Albatross? Not a clue. Yeah, they had the Albatross aircraft in uh, the other one from 1930, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they had that in the... Um, I even got a book, uh, an aeroplane book, what's it called? Um, DW, oh shit. Uh, aircraft. Yeah, it literally just called the Aircraft Book. And it's got all planes in it except from the 767, which I was mad about. Furious. Um, but yeah, it's good. Good book. It's got all the planes from different areas from 19, so before 1920, um, to like 2000s and stuff. So it's even got the 350 in there as well. So great stuff. Got the um, modern Boeing and Airbus airplanes. The 350 looks strange about the mascara though. We've literally got the uh, design of it without the uh, the black. You know, the 350 has like a strange. It's not strange, really. It's um, kind of like a black outline. It is painted, so it's like a... I don't think it's a protective paint, because aircraft paint isn't just served as representing or promoting the delivery of the airline. It's also protecting the metal and you know, for places where they go, like in hot climates, cold climates, and all that. Um, and yeah, like we'll just have metal fatigue in the end. The A350 has issues with a paint job, apparently. <laughs> literally, uh, simply flying is literally just sucking Qatar Airways' balls, they are. Because they're just constantly going on about, oh yeah, the A350, the A350. I call them simply flying, sorry, simple flying. There's another channel called Simply. Oh, I forgot what the name is. Simply Aviation, I don't know. Simply, um, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Simply flying, and then this is simple flying organization slash Bloomberg, <laughs> and yeah, 
Hello. Come on, guys. Bloomberg's for your positive news, isn't it? Is there any positive news at the moment? I think there is. We just said Omicron isn't that serious now. And this is what I'm talking about. With uh, Boris and all that. He is actually a Muppet. He's a... He's a freak. He's a monster. <laughs> And yeah, he's just basically lying about COVID now, isn't he? He's basically, oh yeah, Omicron, it, it's really serious. It's not bloody serious, mate. It's not, it's, well, he's got like, it's 70% less deadly than the Delta variant. I know, he's nonce, isn't he? Because it's winter, it's spreading a bit more. I know, we've got a few cases in London because no one's bloody vaccinated. And in other countries where the vaccination rate's really poor, like America, where 30% of a population have had their what, a Moderna or whatever um, uh, and yeah <laughs> so you know it's not not good for them but they haven't had the vaccine have they so hmm look we get honestly I have no sympathy for people who haven't had the vaccine if they're too stupid to have a vaccine I'm not I'm not saying I have no sympathy for people who can't get their vaccine I, I'm saying I'm, I'm, I have no sympathy for people who won't get their vaccine. Like, won't. Not people who can't. Because I know some people can't get it because of where they live and, um, you know, um, poor vaccine, vaccination rates in some countries. But I'm, I'm saying people who w refuse to be vaccinated. Like some of these religious morons and ethnic dickheads who just won't do it because, ooh, Allah will... Allah will protect us. Yeah, will Allah protect you on the ventilator, mate? I don't think so. Um, literally, so. I mean, I even had a little message on my phone today saying NHS. It was all in capital letters as well. Um, yeah, saying, uh, must get your booster. And I felt like replying, it says I have it in March. <laughs> I get my booster in March. Because um, they say you should have your booster about 12 months. Sorry, 12 weeks. Um, after your second dose, and I had my second dose uh, nearly two months ago, so I'm double vaccinated. What are we going to be calling this now? Triple vaccinated? No. Are you triple vaccinated? Have you had your booster? I've got a they're going to have people who were. Uh, there'll be a problem where people will be single vaccinated. They'll, 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 they'll have the first vaccine, and then they'll try and get their booster. I don't know. I hope it doesn't become like that. Yeah, but yeah, he, he was lying because he was saying, "Oh yeah, uh, if you get your your, your booster, um, you got uh, like a seventy percent chance of um, fighting Omicron." But hang on, you just, you've just said it's not that serious. I, I know. So so fighting up. Hang on, you just said it's not. So he's lying. There you go. There's the proof that he was lying in the first place. <laughs> His words, yeah, can sometimes turn around and bite him. Which, um, he knows, he, he knows it, but when it's uh, a moment of desperation, like trying to remain in power, he, he'll, he'll throw his own mother under the bus, I reckon, if his own mother was still there, but, yeah, definitely 100%. His uh, little blonde, little blonde penis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <coughs> I don't think Allah will protect you on the ventilator. <laughs> First of all, Allah. I don't think Allah even has the ability to care about every single soul. That would be bloody impossible. You know, they say, oh yeah, you're someone's, you know, like people. Like the guy who's in charge of Tesla, he thinks that life is like a simulation and you're someone's video game. Um, you're like a player. Which is stupid because, <clears throat> like, like you're like a, like a, like a chess piece or something. You're like a, a playable character, and someone's controlling you. I, I don't think that's true. Because we've never met these people once, have we? <laughs> and second of all, why would they be playing? <laughs> exactly. And who are they? And uh, is that same for animals? I don't know. But or everyone's just a fiction of uh, a fiction of your imagination. Have you ever thought that? Like, when you go home, um, people at school don't exist once they're 
out of sight, out of mind. Literally out of sight, out of existence. So once you go back to school and you see all your mates and people you like, uh, like your teachers, <laughs> um, they only exist there and then. But your mum and dad don't exist until when you get home. So everyone's like a a, a fiction to your an affection to your imagination. Or oh. um, yeah, they're there for your sole purpose of not becoming insane, being on your own. I don't know. Maybe food is not even a thing. Maybe it's you just. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I should play a bit of Doom Eternal since this is getting nowhere. <laughs> I think we should. Smart point. Yeah. Well, I've thought about it. I thought when I go to school, does my mum and dad exist? Uh, you know. <laughs> Look at that. It still says the eleventh. Twenty second of the eleventh. <laughs> it didn't. It came out in twenty in March twenty twenty. Oh dear. <laughs> So, no, that's actually when it was meant to come out, wasn't it? 2019, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, well. Never mind. It came out when it came out. And it's a good game as well, so... I would rather have them... Have, I would rather have that they took their time and not rushed it. Here we go, the good old game. Doom Eternal. With, uh, 50 more things to worry about. <laughs> Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Apparently that guy there on the left with the sword, the big dude. Yeah, apparently that they are. I've gone with a cord now. Uh, what are they called? Forgotten. Well, they've got like two swords and they set the ground on fire and stuff. I think. Um, well, they the summoner. I don't know. Um. They're like a like um another type of hell knight or something. I think this is called something knight. Uh, a war a war knight is it? I don't know. Teleporting. <laughs> How am I? Where am I teleporting to? Oh god! Yeah, we'll play a bit of Doom. Um. So glad that music's back as well. I don't know what they were doing. Bethesda Net. What update agreements? I'm updating. Update 666. New patches, okay. New hard mode. Uh, new battle mode. New dread. That's it. Dread Knight playable demon. Uh, new stronghold battle mode map. Uh, new master level, okay. Ooh. I did want to play the master levels. Hard. Hard, hard mode. Did I say hard mode? Yeah. H harder mode. <laughs> Okay. Battle mode. And new master levels, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New master levels, more master levels, okay. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> you win things. Things are more like collectibles in this game. So what level should we do? Ancient gods. Uh these are my game slots, aren't they? This is a... When's this? That's from August. And that's from when I... What's part one? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, Ancient Gods part one. I didn't end it in... July. Is that when I last played it? The 11th? Okay, I can probably delete some of these. There you go. Right, ancient God's part. Yeah, this is the uh, harder one. Right, mission select. Imora. I remember all this. The Dark Lord. What level, guys? I only play a bit of it as well. Blood Swamps. UEC Atlantic. Atlantis facility. So that looks fun. 
Heaven's Wrath. Oh, you want me to do Heaven's Wrath? I only played it for about half an hour. Because I spent <laughs> most of the time on Doom. Uh, so, so more confusing it is. That's my sister's safe. Oh no, sorry, no, that's... When's that from? Necrovol. <laughs> When's this from? Is this my save that I played? Um, doing the uh, stuff. I think it is, yeah, with the, um, you know, when I did the, uh, the key challenge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, I don't want to continue the game. This is mine. This is when I ended it. Well, no, I didn't end it in 20, 2000. Alright, sometimes this game is completely different. It says when you last played a level compared to when you, um, in the other game it says when you actually finished the game. Right, what do you want me to play? Erdak. Erdak. Erdak's proper hard. Look, we should go for it. Uh, don't know. Do the Atlantis base. Do you think I should do the Atlantis base? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to do a draw here, like a mini little poll. And more people who say Erdak compared to Atlantis base. Um, which is this one. I think they look exactly the same, don't they? <laughs> that one's freaking hard. I'm not doing that. I don't know which one, guys. Go on, make your mind up. The thing is, I probably know how to play that one better because it's more recent and better. Erdak. Uh, people are saying the Erdak. Heaven's Wrath. Hmm. Interesting. USC facility. More people are saying USC facility. I think I'm going to play this because more people are like saying it. <laughs> it went from. I think it's what people can see. I think that's what it is. We won't be going through those big waves, I promise. Oh, that music. Yeah, buddy. This is like a completely different game to 20. It just feels different. That's what the weather's like at the moment. <laughs> it was. In the autumn with all the rain. That was my school. <laughs> a big blue wave. Previously in Doom, we know. You don't need to be messing around. This game is louder. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. I didn't even shoot him. There we go. This game's like f five times faster. I think this is when I kill and do a glory killer. Yeah, I get speed. Alright, here we go. Do maternal. <laughs> when did the last player? God knows. <laughs> feels a lot tighter. Yeah, it feels a lot tighter than Doom 2016. Like far tighter. The controls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm dead straight in. <laughs> oh, God. Is this harder than Erdak? Yeah, it is. Because it's part of a DLC. I was probably expecting the DLC to be broken as well. It's not. It's good. It's very good. I'll play this for about half an hour. Yeah, I know he won't. He won't do everything for me. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Just need to get used to my controls because I know there's blood punch and other things. Oh shit. <laughs> Still getting used to the game. Yes. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to. Ooh. Go and clean, there she is. I love her. Whoa. Oh god, I thought that was a canister to blow up. Hi, little guys. Little guy. Nice. Right, more glow kills I do, more of these blood punch smacks I can do. 
There we go. Encourages you to kill more. It's a great game. Blue access. Oh, the hell, it's crazy. Look at those waves. <laughs> Brilliant. You may recognise this as well because this was uh, from some of the uh, cutscenes I uh, featured this level in uh, yeah, the uh, 2021 montage video, so you may recognise some of it, like that place over there, that big facility. Oh, hello! Yeah, we have a Dread Knight, yeah. So the descendant of Growing Gloom. It's Growing Gloom's son. See, my sister played this game throughout the summer on my Xbox, so she knows it better than me, probably. She said a lot better than 2016 doing. But it's harder. But she got into it. Second level in. Which is the same for me. And I just don't think the first level in 2016. Sorry, in uh, Doom Eternal is all good of a, an impression of a game. I don't know why. It just feels very samey like the other one. Okay. Did I get it? No. Right, come on, blue key card. Whoa, look at him slowly pulling him off it. <laughs> Sonic card. <laughs> A lot faster, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Wii Gaming. You are freaky. What's going on there? Alright, mate. Freaky guy. Oh. There we go. It's Shan. Mm -mm. Playing better than in the Let's Play, really? I think once I'm familiar with the controls, I, yeah, I'm alright. Uh, but it does take a while. Definitely does. And this is 60 FPS, 60 FPS as well. This game. It's like I'm doing like a bloody game review, but I haven't played this game for a while, so I'm going to talk about it in other little ways, aren't I? Because when I'm focused in the Let's Play, I'm all just trying to get on with it. There's no stress. <laughs> it's peace, man. It's cool. Mm. I've done it. Eat that and die, please. Uh, hang on. Kako demons are harder in this game as well. So they have more of a tendency to bite you. Eat that as well. There you go. Shanny boy. Oh, have I taken this thing to it off his head? Yeah, it's kind of like a destructible kind of um, enemy destruction system we've got. Um, a destructible en enemy destruction system. Um, you can kind of pick pieces off the the enemy's uh, body and uh, yeah do all kinds of damage all kinds of damage like take the turret off his head so he stops blasting you in the face you know stuff like that oh shit I'm back to where I was before this is a buddy whatever they're called Baron of Hell oh nice escape Healthy health potion. Right, there we go. Okay, all right. Oh, I didn't do that. Hello, yeah, you. Nice. Oh, don't think I'll be able to do that. Alright. Ooh, shit. Come on. Someone says beast for a console player. <laughs> Alright. Let me get getting when I'm into it. There we go. So there's a lack of familiarity, I lose it totally. Is he gonna let me through? No. Still more coming. Do, 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 do. 
Oh no, that's on the other side. Let me in. How do I get in? Huh? <laughs> Where? Up how? Uh. Gonna hit something now. Oops. I think I'm going up. Pretty sure I am, yeah, I am. Just didn't let, let me in that way because it's part of a facility. Hello, part of a diplomatic community. There we go, alright. Fatty. You need your bows and your lollipop. I'm the lollipop man, remember? <laughs> Crossing the road, that's my new job. What would you do, guys, if I actually said, from working in the school, doing my airport streams? What, at school? Um, <laughs> might be if it's something worth watching. Um, Interesting planes for that at Liverpool, especially at the moment with that Nord wind, whatever. Yeah, triple seven. I haven't seen it once. I saw a silhouette of an A330 the other day. 300, and that was it. And a bunch of these kids on the bench were like waiting for it, and I was kind of saying, shit, you know, it's not going to be what you think it is. It's not going to be like right overhead, because it's, it's going to Moscow, it's going to, you know, Russia, and it's probably going to go left. And they were saying, oh, and they were like, oh, we can see it. And then they started getting proper silly and saying, oh, he's got a boner. Plain boy's got a boner. <laughs> Tosses. So, uh, yeah. They're all right. I think it's nice that they show an interest in my interest. But on the other hand, I think sometimes they're just doing it because sometimes they take the piss, I don't know. Do you think, God, you, I've seen you, and you, 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 you're at least out of lessons five times a week. There's no way you have the intelligence or the ability to recognise, you know, people for being potentially, you know, good at something, and you know, seeing someone's, you know, uh, talent, and giving people you know, credibility and generally enjoying a hobby like I do, you know, because you know, you, you, you're the lad who smokes weed outside of school, I know you do, because I've seen you, as soon as you get out, you hang around with all your, your deaf friends, so that's, that's what I say, sometimes you, it's good to remember what you see and what you hear and then you can kind of tell if someone's genuine or not, so yeah, that's what I do. Judge, judge, judge. Jabs, jabs, and jobs, jobs, and judge, judge, judge. Pepper Pig, Pepper Pig. Crying out loud. They were close everywhere except from Pepper Pig land. <laughs> Definitely 100%. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's delayed, wasn't it? Good off me. These guys are a classic, aren't they? Doom 2. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't even struggle with them. They give you enemies you struggle at so you can get better. <laughs> Fighting them. I think there's a marauder in a minute. Happy to see me, mate. Shit, shit. Oh. Thin ice here, son. Get out of it, sucker. Ooh. There you go. What you get? Oh, what's going on here? Oh no, my God! My sister hated these. You done? No, not yet. Come on! It wasn't raining a minute ago, was it? <laughs> oh, that's like real life. Oh no! I remember this. It's no end. The DLC's no end. It's like. A marathon that never ends. Or a cross country that never ends. Why do we call it cross country? You're not even crossing the country, you're crossing the graveyard, doing a lap around the school, and then stopping by at the shops to get a Lucas aid because you're flipping exhausted. How is that a cross country? <laughs> For me, that's a little walk. For you saying boat, it's a, a crawl. <laughs> uh. Anyway. A little walk. <laughs> Some fat kids. Come down the stairs and they're flipping exhausted. 
There's a, there's a kid in my school called um, Connor Colley. My mate Brody used to take the piss out of him. Because we were about, I think we were about two years older than him, or one year older, I don't know. And um, he was like, oh, fucking hell lad, you've only run up the stairs and you're sweating. <laughs> he was, he was like, sweating, <laughs> he'd run up, he'd only been downstairs to get his book from maths. And then ran up the stairs again, he was like, sweating, it was, it was the winter as well. So... And he said, oh no, oh, no, no. I'm such a fat idiot, oh no. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> yeah, my mate Brody was very observational. Oh. Anyway. Don't hang around hang <laughs> Don't hang around with them anymore because I don't know. I think I've got better people, but it's still cool. Times at school, cool times at school. I was never too cool for school. I was so cool I actually stayed in school. Huh. No education looks cool, doesn't it? You can't even really function in the adult world. So most people get a really good education. <coughs> what was he doing? Was he break dancing? Um, go to like university and get all these degrees and then they put kill themselves no, I'm not joking like young people I'm not being harsh but you get all these uni degrees and stuff and then you don't see them ever again you never hear of them and you know let me do it just to for the family I don't know it's just make them, I mean yeah I give them credit on their intelligence but you never hear of them. It's like people who win the X Factor or Strictly Come Dancing. You never hear of them ever again, do you? Ooh, it's such and such a one Strictly Come Dancing. Ooh, brilliant. Ooh. Do you ever hear of them ever again? No, you don't. Exactly. They're in it for themselves. Ah, oh, that's the point of winning. <laughs> and, um... And then they go on their little social pages and then they say oh I want to give a massive shout out to all those who didn't make it through to the final um, you're so amazing I love you if they'd lost and they won they, they'd be chatting shit about them and that's how ungenuine um, reality TV is it's not reality because why do they call it reality TV keeping up with Kardashians how's that reality exactly not any reality I know Anyway, how, how is sticking little needles, sorry, <laughs> up your arse <laughs> to make it fat as hell? <laughs> Reality. <laughs> sorry, that music van cracked me up while saying that. <laughs> sticking little needles up your arse <laughs> to make it look fat, you bum bum. <laughs> oh, that's absurd. <sighs> oh, that's so funny. Love doing these streams. Quickly <laughs> <laughs> uh, come dancing is a yeah, cancer of its own. Yeah, I know. I don't watch it. I watched it when for about like maybe two years when it was on. I don't know why. It's because there's nothing else to watch on TV. Ooh, I think Virgin Media pulled Nickelodeon or something. So I watched Strictly instead. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah. It was a... Uh, it was a Strictly routine of watching it. <laughs> the strict routine of watching Strictly. Yeah, I'm not into it. Nonsense. Who, who would be what 19 year old lad would be into Strictly? Exactly. Except for maybe if they do dancing themselves, but they don't dance, they punts around on Strictly Come Dancing, that's all they do. We, there's no dancing in it. I think dancing is about maybe 20% of what you actually see. All the other stuff is, ooh, the judges. And they all come out in their stupid little ways. And, um, and you've got those two horrible witches who present it. Tess Bailey and whatever her name is. Claudia Winkleman, that horrible Jew. Um, and, um, nasty bitch. That's <laughs> my 
crank holder. <laughs> That's nasty bitch. Um, excuse the sewing club and all our sewing friends said, oh yeah, we don't like her too. <laughs> we don't like her either. Um, yeah, she does absolutely nothing. Um, and then they're saying, ooh, how we practice the dance, the samba, and then we're doing the tango, and then they're pissing around in some dance school or some dance practice. Um, yeah. Um, whatever they call it. It's not a gym, is it? It's like a, um, like a stu like a drama dance studio or whatever. Um, and we're just pissing around. You know what I mean? Buggering each other, so it's, it's. And then they're taking the piss because ooh, someone used to. I don't know. Well, I used to be a teacher. So the dance has to be all around their their pastimes. I know it's ridiculous. Um, I don't like it. I know it's not for everyone. It's certainly not for me. Um, so the way I think of it is all. Oh, it is for everyone because so many people watch it and it has a certain amount of insights. And, um. I don't. <laughs> I don't watch it. I'm literally talking, guys, while I'm. L honestly. Looking in into. I'm literally daydreaming. I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about what I'm saying. It's not good, is it? Oh, God. If I'm making sense, well, that's alright. But if I'm not, don't, just don't listen to me. Tune out. <laughs> Come back when I'm <laughs> when my eyes have readjusted back onto the screen. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm looking like I've seen something from far beyond. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> looking at my curtains about 20 seconds a minute ago. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh my god. Oh, oh, never mind. Help's on the way. <laughs> Oh god. Absolute pest taker. Oh, get out. Ugly. Hello. Anyway, yeah, I don't like it. Hey, come on, Claudia Winkleman. Stop it. It's about to go at Tess Bailey. Oh god. Hey, stop it, Tess Bailey. That actually looks like it. Maybe that was a new name for the uh, lip, lip wash. Lip wash. Li lip rash. <laughs> Was it lip rash? Rip uh, rip lash. Whip lash. A lip rash. Sound very nice, does it? Fell over on your lip. Ooh. A graze. Ooh, didn't like grazes. Horrible. Just graze your skin. Ah, I used to do that on the way to school. I used to run, and then I was falling over all the time. To run has fallen over. <laughs> yeah, never run. Concrete hurts because it's rough as well. If you wear the high quality jeans, it's alright, but. Uh, oh, you're short. You can absolutely count on having a leg that looks like some sort of that raw salmon. Horrible. All the skin's fallen off. Smash you. Smash you. Smash your body against the gravement. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> against the gravement. Against the uh, pavement. I said smash your body against the gravy. <laughs> what the bloody hell is this? Human food. <laughs> Come on. Oh god, look at that. <laughs> What's going on here? Got my, got my meat hook stuck. I'm like a leash. <laughs> I couldn't get back. <laughs> like a baby harness. I couldn't get back. Yeah. Right, just kill everything in sight. I'm proper angry now. How's it going, guys? How's it going, guys? Oh. Claudia Winkleman. Stop winking at me. You ugly bitch. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fringes like some like, really curtains. A pair of curtains are ridiculous. 
That ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Stop it. Oh, God, you just yawned and my eyes hurting. <laughs> Nearly one in the morning and I'm pissing around playing Doom. With you all. Yeah, I just expect one of the most offensive streams ever when I'm playing Doom. <laughs> totally. No. No, no bounds. I know no bounds when playing Doom. I, mean, I don't say things that are really terrible. But I have a go at people all the time. It is, it's fun. Enjoy it. YouTube ain't gonna do anything about it because we've got Logan Paul to deal with and PewDiePie. And, um. Yeah. And kids making money off shaking their asses around. Using the platform like it's some sort of porn site. You know. <laughs> now, you see, my content is bloody gold. They would have loved me. Um. Back in the early 2000s, I would have provided something different. I wasn't here in the early 2000s, I was here, but I wasn't doing YouTube. I was uh, doing school. I was working at school. I was working at school. So when I was about seven years old, I was an English teacher. <laughs> yep. That's me. And now I'm cleaning the toilets and cleaning the feces around the air. <laughs> The girls' toilets and the boys' toilets. No, you can guarantee feces to be all in the boys' toilets. I don't know, because I don't go in the girls' toilets. Why do I feel proud in saying that? <laughs> yeah, shouldn't be anywhere near the girls' toilets. Unless you're painting one of the doors. Which I have actually done. I had to go into the girls' toilets, because I, I was painting the door. It was when... No one was in school, you know, back in February this year. And, um... This is like a lifetime ago. Um, and yeah, literally, uh... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> painting the girls' toilets. Hmm. My artwork can be admired in there. Well, they're taking a shite. <laughs> uh, yeah, so while you're taking a shit, you can admire his artwork. Jesus. Yeah. yeah, I used plenty of brown paint. Because I knew it would be the, the colour of a toilet in about 10 years' time. <laughs> just use what you think will be. And it's like when people wear like white t-shirts, just guarantee it to become like a brown t-shirt from spilling coke on yourself and everything else. So, no point buying a white t-shirt, just get just buy a, a t-shirt that, that's like a dirty colour anyway. And you won't have to worry about it. Everything else would be camouflage. <laughs> bit like a toilet, just paint a toilet brown. So you can guarantee someone's going to come in there in a few years and just not have the best of. May, may have not had a good breakfast. May have not had a very good quality breakfast. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, just all over the wall, all over the ceiling. Yeah, like proper. Yeah, rhino style. <laughs> <laughs> Proper rhino style. <laughs> Never seen rhinos take a shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's like, um. I don't know. It's like someone's in there throwing stuff out. Honestly, it's like emptying the. emptying the trash. Sounds like a Billy Connolly thing. <laughs> Wouldn't you be sick if someone goes around throwing carrots <laughs> into it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I laughed so hard when I heard that. My mum told me it as well, I didn't even see it. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, shit. Shit, a Rooney's. Rhino style. Oh, bugger. Alright, come on, let's remain our health. This is, this is how I felt, literally doing this Ancient Gods rubbish, you know, one minute my health was at 90 and the next minute it went down to 1% and then... <clears throat> yeah, very hard. Very hard. Unless I had, like, life totems. Which are handy. Handy pandy, handy pandy. 
And he's very handy. It comes to the hand. Uh, uh, uh. No target. Am I low on ammo? We still got some ammunition. Oh, bugger. Okay. Alright, just jumping around here. Like a crazy squirrel. Like a hummingbird, you know. Oh, he's not dead yet! Get out of this place. Bang. Oh, Spider-Man. What are you going to do, mate? Oh, God, I fell from that. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am the hummingbird of doom. Oh, God, I'm going to die. I think this has been quite fun. <laughs> to his mate. <laughs> Fell down the stairs. Smoke lady. Oh god. Right, okay, get a bit of health here and there. There we go. Somewhere I killed them, isn't it? I can guarantee they're gonna die, so I'll just leave them. You better watch out, you better not cry. This is gonna be at the end of your bed. Giving your dad a pie. <laughs> Giving your dad a pie. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, okay, if you enjoyed, I'm gonna go because I'm. Yeah, fricked. Well, that was the um, year doom, year of doom. Uh, Christmas special. Or New Year's special, whatever. Quake themed slice. Skin, I think I already got that, haven't I? If you enjoyed, thanks for watching. That was the UAC Atlantic Station as well as Argent Dignor in Be of a Doom. Oh god. If you enjoyed, see you later. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for Oblivion. And um, on Tuesday, there will be a uh, festive themed survival island video. Festive being a, another word for, sorry it's late, <laughs> it's bound to be shit. <laughs> yeah, see you all later, thanks for watching. Um, see those two little torches there on that little um, stone thing, it looks like from Skyrim or something. Anyway, see you all later, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you all very soon. Uh, tomorrow I've got the Madrid video coming out, premiering at 7. I didn't want to upload it tonight because, first of all, it wasn't even ready. I made a load of sm smelling mistakes. <laughs> Spelling mistakes, but also, um... There was a few other channels premiering things tonight and I didn't really want to be uh, clashing. Um, affecting other people's views. Not air, like, I couldn't give a damn about them. <laughs> but, um, just some other of the uh, younger... YouTube channels, and I just thought I'd give them a chance. Um, so yeah, see you all later. And um, what's this? I'm like, some of you may be wondering. What, what's, oh, I've got some stupid document. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> see you all later very soon. Bye.